Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're making apple pie. Okay, yes, we are making. Yes, we're making apple pie. Thank you for the saying that, but I already had that for me. <laughs> Let me finish. I was gonna not done talking yet. Yes, we're making apple pie today, and I guess it's gonna be another cooking vlog because <laughs> Hannah, hold on, Hannah Bennett, because. Because I had to make dinner tonight too. What are you doing? <laughs> because you said that. Because I didn't know you're making dinner for yeah, a video tonight too. I don't really want to cook dinner tonight because I'm tired. <laughs> and you need to pick those up because I don't want Baxter eating those. Go down and get them, please. <laughs> The first thing I'm going to do is to slice up all the apples thin, very thin. And yes, my uh, my cutting boards are still dirty. So yes, I am using a plate again. I need to do dishes. And yes, all my other knives are also dirty. So I am using this extra long one. Whoa, that's a big one. Yes, it is. Did you use the last red one from last time? Yes. That was clean? Wow, that's cool. Okay, one down and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten more. I don't know how many. Maybe not that many, but I forgot I need to chop these up too. Okay, so I was debating on if I wanted to peel the apples or not and so I googled it and some people said that you can some people said don't but some people are saying it might if you don't peel it it will mess up like the texture of the pie and I don't want to do that. Apple? Yes Hannah you're here to help me now. So I'm just going to go ahead and peel the apples too. This is another extra step that I'm not looking forward to. Can you tell I'm tired? <laughs> I'm usually happy baker, but today I'm just tired. Anyway, apple. it is an apple, baby girl. So um, I'm gonna peel it, and then I think I was actually kind of chopping the apple up a little more than I should. So I'm going to just chop them up a little less. I don't know, we'll see what I feel like doing. <laughs> I was pretty impressed with this uh this one long string thing. No hair, that's mine. Please excuse my crying daughter in the background. <laughs> okay, I saw one girl on a video, not video pictures, cutting it like this. I'm gonna try cutting it like this this time. If I don't like it, I can always go back to the other way I was doing it. I've made apple pie before, people. <laughs> this is uh, this seems like I have not made apple pie before, but I have actually. I just don't remember how I cut the apples. Maybe we'll just do it this way. I feel like the other way would be. It doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter. I'm <laughs> just talking to myself. Oh, it's been a day. Okay, everybody, we got the lemonade right here. Lemon juice. Lemon, no lemonade. Lemon juice. Lemonade. So that's 100% lemon juice. And we're just gonna do about a tablespoon in, in the bowl of apples. Yeah. 
This will keep the apples from turning like brown. Yeah. Can I can I do that? Ah. Bah, bah. Yeah. Okay. That's good. And I'll just kind of toss this. Probably should use a spoon. Ooh, very lemony. Uh -oh. May have done a little bit more than a tablespoon. <laughs> oh well. James thought he was funny and said, I'm gonna put the cinnamon and nutmeg in there. You're so funny, James. Okay. Now we are going to add this mixture to the apples. All right, now we're going to be making the crust of the pie. That doesn't taste good. It's not cream cheese. Alright, we're supposed to mix this before I put in the shortening in there. But I wasn't reading the directions correctly. And you're supposed to use like a pastry blender, but I don't think I have one. I need to get one of those. But now I'm going to cut the shortening up until it's the size of a peas. Okay, next I'm supposed to sprinkle one tablespoon of cold water over part of the mixture and then gently toss with a fork by pushing moistened dough to the side of the bowl. And I'm going to repeat using a tablespoon of cold water at a time until all the dough is moistened. That's what the directions say, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, now most of the dough or all the dough is moistened, so then you're supposed mm -hmm. to uh, divide it into two. Yes, I can see on the camera. The baby, if I need more. What if you do need more? Water or not? Water. So we don't need any more water again. Stop helping! Like, start helping you again! Okay. Oh, nope, nope. We gotta keep it over the bowl. Okay, that's all I can do. Okay, all right, let mommy finish it. Thank you. Ah, my fault. It's definitely not something if you just wanna uh, make Squeeze your- Squeeze the fart. Squeeze my God. If you don't want it to be messy, this is definitely not the thing you should use. Okay, we're gonna put this one aside. Don't touch it. Now I'm gonna lightly, I put the flour up. Okay, I'll get the flour, hold on. 
Now I'm going to lightly flour this surface and then roll out this ball into 12 inch, 12 inches. to be a non-stick <laughs> roller not working that well Falling apart, James. Oh no. Let's scoot it over. No, I can't scoot it over. Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's okay, James. I can fix it. a rustic apple pie okay this might not be the prettiest apple pie ever but this homemade crust right there oh here's some more let me see where I can put that okay it start with my people who make yeah. pies on a, a daily basis or all the time they're probably like Megan please don't post this on YouTube okay let me see the next step now we're gonna put the apples in the pie. Oh, no, okay, careful. All right, now we're gonna get the, some butter, one tablespoon, and then dot it around the pie. Dot it, dot it, dot it. this over here now we're going to get the other one well, actually I made flour it again so I don't have the same problem with a pie before so let's see how it works do not lick it A very rustic uh, apple pie. <laughs> okay, put 
supposed to like I said flute it, but I'm not really sure what that means. I'm guessing push down on it. Okay. <laughs> they said this next part was optional, but I think it will make it nice and brown. But it's gonna brush on some milk. I'm preheating the oven right now to 375 and it says to prevent over browning cover the edge of the pie with foil and then we're going to cook it for 25 minutes and then we're going to remove the foil and bake for another 20 to 25 minutes until the top is golden brown and apples are tender and it says you can serve this with cheddar cheese or ice cream well I didn't say ice cream but I know you could do ice cream my very delicate edges are going to need this. So. All right, now it's ready to go into the oven and cook. Are you cake? It's, are you cake? It's pie. Are, okay, you can cut whatever you want. Um, so this is the finished product of my rustic. <laughs> Apple pie. I'll, I'll give you some water. And I was right. I didn't cook. I just made macaroni and cheese. I gotta bring these. You gotta brain freeze. What do you think of it, hand banana? Okay, James. But how does it taste? Good. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. How is it, Hannah Banana? Is it good? I just realized that I am not in this vlog at all. <laughs> My face never was shown, James, in this vlog. Oh well. All right, James, what do you say when you end the vlog? Give them the Oh, well, the pie taste. Then, anyway. Well, the apple kind of got it, so I'll just be the apples. <laughs> so it's. Oh, I haven't, got, I haven't got weed in the pie yet. I think I'm old. <laughs> Anna! Anna! <laughs> Anna! Anna. 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 All right. Okay, end the vlog, James. Give the up, subscribe, hit that bell, say numbers, and my target or Walmart <laughs> or Tasty or uh Dollar Tree or Halloween City or Party City or any of our videos. Our, we do mostly family videos, but yes. All right. Bye. And our family videos. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.